met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer and I've no doubt there's truth in what they say and sure a body is bound to be a dreamer when all the things he loves are far away and precious things are dreams unto an exile they take him all from the land across the sea especially when Oh, it happens he's in exile from that dear love in the Isle of Innisfree. And when the moon like peeps across the rooftops of this great city, who wanders. Though it be Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to the graveyard surrounding the site of the old church in Coon. We are offering Mass for the souls of the faithful departed interred in this graveyard and those interred in the old graveyard on the hill and on those interred in the new graveyard in Coon. Saint John Vianney, the Curie of ours, speaking about the souls in purgatory, the holy soul, said, If we only knew what power these souls have over the heart of God, and what graces we can receive through their intercession, they would not be so abandoned by us. The prayer for their relief from purgatory is, after the prayer for the conversion of sinners, the most pleasing prayer to God. We ask for the grace to remain close to the holy souls by our prayer for them. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Almighty, ever-living God, who rule both the living and the dead, and are merciful to all, we humbly beseech you that those for whom we pour out our prayers may obtain pardon for their sins through your tender mercy, rejoicing together, blessed in your sight and praising you without end.
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Our reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. My son, if you aspire to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for an ordeal. Be sincere of heart, be steadfast, and do not be alarmed when disaster comes. Cling to him and do not leave him, so that you may be honoured at the end of your days. Whatever happens to you, accept it, and in the uncertainties of your humble state, be patient, since gold is tested in the fire and chosen men in the furnace of humiliation. Trust him and he will uphold you, follow a straight path and hope in him. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Do not turn aside in case you fall. You who fear the Lord, trust him. You will not be balked of your reward. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for everlasting happiness and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, whoever trusted in the Lord, I was put to shame. Or whoever feared him steadfastly, and was left forsaken. Or whoever called out to him, and was ignored. For the Lord is compassionate and merciful. He forgives sins and saves in days of distress. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm, your response is, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. Out of the depths I cry cry to you, O Lord. Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? What would you as found forgiveness? For this we revere you. Out of the depths I cry to you, you, O Lord. Lord. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchman for daybreak. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption, Israel indeed he will redeem from all his inequity. Out of the depths I cry to you. The second reading is, is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive under the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise, and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Alleluia, Alleluia. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me so that where I am, you may be too. 
You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. In the preface of today's Mass, we will hear the words, Indeed, for your faithful people, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. This is the faith and the conviction with which we offer Mass today. It is the faith and conviction with which we offer Mass every Sunday. Our prayer and the Eucharist is the foundation of our faith. In today's Gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, there are many rooms in my Father's house if there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. Built on the foundation of faith in eternal life is a house with many rooms. And I would like to go through a few of these rooms today. In the first room are all the people we knew who have died. Parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, children, grandchildren and neighbours. We bring them all to the Lord in the Eucharist today. We leave this room and go into another room. In this room are all those who have died, but we never knew them. They died before our time. All those who walked to this old church early in the morning, fasting from the night before in order to be able to receive Holy Communion. These are people who lived through very poor times. They did not lose heart or despair. Christ was their hope. Christ was their treasure. Before we leave this room, we ask our distant relatives, our distant ancestors, to implant in our hearts some of their deep faith in Christ, that we may taste some of the goodness of Christ and rediscover Christ as our great treasure. As we make our way through a culture where many feel no need of God no need of Christ, where many are deprived of faith in God, where many are deprived of faith in Christ. Finally, we go to another room where the deceased priests of this parish are. They were weak, mortal humans, the same as the rest of people. They were chosen by Christ to continue his presence in the world as ministers of the word of God and ministers of the sacraments. Before we leave this room, I would like to pray that other men from this parish might dedicate their lives to Christ in the priesthood. It might be a young person studying something else at the moment, but might give thought to dedicating his life to priesthood. 
it might be an adult working happy in another field but might consider leaving his present vocation for a life of priesthood. If you dedicate your life to Christ in the priesthood, you will be well rewarded for whatever sacrifices you have to make. Christ is our great treasure and the source of God's eternal love and mercy. We now come to the Eucharist, asking Christ to look upon our departed brothers and sisters with his great love and with his great mercy. Now at this time we come to the prayer of the faithful. Merciful Father, we pray to you for our sisters and brothers who have died in Christ and whose bodies are buried here. Lord, in your mercy, forgive their sins. For all the dead, particularly those who died in the past 12 months, Almighty God, Father of all, you have strengthened us through the mystery of the death and resurrection of your Son. Mercifully grant that all now freed from the toils of their life may be joined with the company of your chosen ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, graciously hear us. For all dead parents, O oh God, you have taught us to honour our father and mother. Show mercy to fathers and mothers and forgive them their sins. May we all joyfully meet again in the gladness of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our brethren, relatives and benefactors, Father, you are the fount of mercy and wish all men and women to be saved. Have mercy on our deceased brethren and benefactors. Through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, and of all your saints, bring them to the fellowship of eternal joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those awaiting our prayers, we humbly ask you, O Lord, of your mercy, welcome the souls of your servants. Grant that all their good deeds may be rewarded. May they be loosed from the bonds of sin and death and be found worthy of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who have no one to pray for them, God, glory of the faithful, and the reward of the just, we have been redeemed by the death and resurrection of your Son. Grant that all who confess their belief in the mystery of your resurrection may be found worthy to share fully in the joys of your life. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. O oh, gracious Lord, enable us to listen to your word. May we console each other with the message you proclaim, so finding light in darkness and faith in the midst of doubt, we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. By your acceptance of this sacrificial offering, O God, grant that your departed servants, our brothers and sisters, may be sharers in the abundant riches of Christ, so that with him they may be raised again to life and receive a place at his right hand, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the saints and the angels we pray. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, mm -hmm. broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and 
all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> We entrust them to God, who is faithful from age to age and from life to death. May they live a new life with the risen Christ. May God, who raised Jesus from the dead, breathe resurrection life into them. May the seed of divine life come to full flower in God's kingdom. 
May there be nothing now between them and the love of Christ. After the storms and struggles of life, may they experience the calm of God's peace. May the faith that they had in life find its fulfilment in God's presence. May they adore and glorify God forever. May they see the face of God and live. May the Lord crown them with love and compassion. May they rejoice forever in the communion of saints. We ask you, Lord, to gather them in your arms and hold them against your breast. May the Lord lead them by, by the hand to the place of perfect peace. May the Lord guard their coming and going now and forever. By God's power, may all their desires for goodness be fulfilled and all the work of their lives be completed. May they share with Mary in glorifying God forever. As Mary is united with Jesus in heaven, may we all one day be reunited with our departed family and friends. May they rejoice and be happy at God's heavenly banquet. May they find in God that which is more desirable than anything else. May our prayers accompany them to the place that Jesus had prepared for them. May they know the love of Christ and be filled with the utter fullness of God. May God bring them to that holy land where they will never hunger or thirst again. May the Lord one day reunite us with those who have died, never to be separated again. Let your face shine on your servants. Save us in your merciful love. O Lord, let us never be put to shame, for we call on you. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, your children, nourished now by the sacrament of salvation, and as through the Holy Spirit, you raised Christ, your only begotten Son, from the dead. So grant to your faithful servants the joy of life and immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the Mass is ended.